Um, if I could just speak on two items. Um, firstly, uh, very much welcome the Just Transition retrofitting. A number of local authorities in the Midlands, and including Galway, um, are putting forward funds to retrofit houses in the particular areas affected by, um, say, loss, particularly with Just Transition, Borden Mona and ESB. Very much looking forward to the 60 homes in Banlasloe that are going to be retrofitted and how this is going to impact in terms of cost of heating. Um, I suppose we have a lot of uh, people in that area that, you know, there's a lot of fuel poverty and it would be great to see that those costs would be reduced. The second item that I'd like to talk about is the greenways. To welcome the investment yesterday of the two point, uh, sorry, 4.5 billion million, pardon, into greenways, particularly the Shannon Monastic Greenway, which is going out to Shannon Bridge, and also the Loch Ree Greenway, um, which is going from Tam Tarmanbury to Athlone. Um, it's all great to see. And in particular, I suppose, there's the Transport Infrastructure Ireland focus on the uh, Dublin to Galway and perhaps further on. Um, that is a huge priority, a focus for this government to achieve. Um, the actual office for the Athlone to Galway section of this motorway, which is the next priority, is located in Banlasloe. Currently, public consultation for the whole sections from Athlone to Galway City is going to be open for consultation from the 10th of August. I'd really like to encourage people with any interest in why and how important it is to have greenways in our area um, to consider submitting a consultation. And perhaps if I could just highlight that it will be across many areas and two areas that I'd like to highlight in particular are the Shamrock Lodge in Athlone from 11 to 8 p.m. Um, on the 10th of August and then on the 11th of August in the Shearwater from again 11 to 8 p.m. These items will also be on this display, will also be public display, so the, the engineers that are based in Banaslow will be putting this out on display in many locations and uh, you'll see it in local offices, local authority offices, in particular in Banaslow from the 17th till the 21st of August. So I'd really like to just encourage people to make submissions. It is important to have greenways, but to do it by consensus and to have something that's of benefit to all. Um, Senator Dolan raised the issue of uh, the just transition and retrofitting and I think she's done a very good job in terms of uh, representing Ballinasloe and certainly her video uh, inviting people to staycation in Ballinasloe was possibly overshadowed by uh, uh, Deputy Bruton's um, <laughs> video and, and the, 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 the imagery contained within. But nonetheless, Senator Dolan's video was, was equally as impressive. And uh, certainly I would, and also uh, the issue around uh, Greenway investment, uh, as somebody from a constituency where we have the Great Western Greenway, uh, I can certainly account for the huge success that that has been and the spin-off in terms of, I think Senator Garvey raised this as well, the spin-off for surrounding areas, and I think Senator Garvey said it, you know, up to 60 kilometres away, uh, I can certainly attest to that. It has been transformative for rural communities in terms of small little businesses popping up around to support the tourism coming through because of Greenways. Um,